Hello and welcome to Half Cracked. My name is Michael and today we will be learning how to make a very simple camera look script. Now this script can be applied to anything, not just cameras, but let's go. Really easy. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing for this particular example is splitting my scenes from, you know, game on the right, scene on the left, because I'm just going to be moving this around in the editor. Now if you have a uh, character controller, feel free to use that, but this is just how I choose to do it today. Because it just sounds fun to do. Alright, so, if you got your scene all set up, let's move over here to your assets folder, right click, create a C sharp script. And we will be calling it camera look, or anything you really feel like. And let's open it up in mono develop. Alright, the first thing, uh, we really don't need these as seeing as they're grayed out, so I'm just going to get rid of them. And I'm going to do some formatting real fast. Right, for this, we really only need one variable, and that would be a transform of, say, the player, or just your target in general. We're just going to call it player. So, we're going to make it a public transform player. Oops. Cannot spell today. Semicolon. Thank you. Fat fingers today. So over here in the start function, we need to just find it. That way we don't have to really do any drag and drops uh, per se. So player equals game object dot find with tag. This is how I'm choosing to do it. Because I'm assuming you're doing this for a player. It can really be for anything. But I, I'm assuming you want to do it for player. That's what I want to do it for. And we're going to use the tag player dot transform. Because we are looking... We need to find a specific game object with a specific tag, and we need to transform that game object. And of course, player equals all that garbage. So now, we need it to work, and it's very, very simple. Very simple. It's just transform dot look at parentheses layer. Semicolon. Simple as that, and let's go back over to the editor. And like I said, I'm going to connect it to the camera. So select it, move it down, right in there. And then it should automatically uh, select, find the player and follow it. And it instantly finds our player and the cube. And it follows it. Beautiful. And that concludes everything. I hope you guys found this edifying and have a fantastic time.